Okay, welcome to a torsion test. This time we're going to be looking at doing it on 7030 brass specimen. This is a torsion testing machine. I'm just going to describe briefly um, some of the makeup of the machine. Obviously, I don't know if you can see, you've got the specimen sitting in the middle already in between two sockets. That's how it's located. Here you've got the motor and gearbox applying the torque, and it's held stationary at this point here. And it's counterbalanced, the torque's counterbalanced by some heavy weights which you possibly can't see down here. Here we've got the control area whereby you apply a variable speed for the, for the torque, just through a little sort of dial. And the, the speed, this, or the direction I should say, can be done forward and reverse. You've got a little counter here which indicates every time it clicks over, 0.3 degree of an angle of twist. Now that's degrees, not radians. And obviously on here as well, you've got a torque reading. And that, that's in Newton meters. And what you'll probably hear once myself and Andy begin the test, I'll read out a certain amount of, of degrees of twist or a certain amount of revolutions, I should say, on the counter, and Andy's going to take down some, some Newton meter readings. So like I say, this is 7030 brass, and I'll begin the test. What we'll try and do is we'll try and keep the speed the same also. Line 20, and you can see the scribe line that will put horizontally against their specimen coming full, fully round again. Line 60. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen forty. Seventeen twenty. 